Hello, everybody. I'm at Fuel Tech here with the owner and founder of uh, this company. It's an amazing story. Uh, we'll get to that at PRI, but for today, we're here to talk with Anderson about uh, his new Fuel Tech 700. Yeah, the, the big, that, that's our third generation of ECUs. And we did, uh, for the first 10 years, we developed one harder. Then the biggest jump we did was 2014 with the Power FT line, which came later to become the FT600. That was the most powerful hardware we could design 10 years ago. And we actually maximize or we actually uh, outrun the hardware over the last 10 years. Uh, kind of like your old iPhone. The iPhone 7 don't work anymore. Exactly. And then we, there's so much you can do with the software or with the hardware you have. And we learned so much with the really, really high end application. And at the same time, we, we were missing the connectivity, the, the artificial intelligence capacity, the video, the audio capacity, really, really high speed processing. And we designed now a platform that we believe is going to last for the next 10 years. And so we can implement so much software features and different controls. I believe the, the, the industry we have for VCUs until now, especially the standalone units, they're really outdated in terms of what available, what, what's available of technology if you compare it to your phone or, or anything. Most of the issues were designed when iPhone 7 was released and they were not even at that pace at the time. So bringing a now a VCU that brings a latest, absolute latest technology and connectivity and multimedia capacity will open so much the possibilities of what we can implement over the next years. About how much faster is the processor now compared to? It's it's even hard to, to say a number of it is thousands of times because we have a, a multi-core processor that has AI capacity, graphics processor, so you can process video, audio. Uh, we can have, for example, in the high speed inputs. We can process data of 400,000 times per second. That will allow us to run in-cylinder pressure, in -cylinder pressure chamber sensors. Uh, that will be able to be processed through a tenth of a degree of crankshaft. Uh, that in-cylinder pressure monitoring it, it could be a total game changer. Absolutely, because right now we are able to, we're, we, only, we, we only think of timing as a, the timing, what we apply the timing, but we don't think of peak pressure angle. And uh, if we do read uh, in-cylinder chamber pressure, we can eventually switch that to a closed loop system on the ignition. And that's unseen on, on issues, especially in the aftermarket. So, so much will change in the performance. So I'm sure the engineers will be able to make a, a lot more power because you can run them a lot more in the extreme. Also, engine developers will learn more and more about how they can modify the engine projects to even be more powerful, more reliable. And so the technology ends up working along with uh, the mechanical side. So I think it's, uh, it's usually when you see such of a leap or such an advance on technology, it will actually reflect in the whole industry. Right, and then you mentioned the word connectivity, uh, but then there's also the fuel tech cloud that's AI enabled. Yeah, the, the connectivity brings capacity of remotely accessing the ECU. It brings the ability of uh, either online or offline uh, AI processing data but also online you can receive information, you can store automatically data, you can uh, monitor, for example, all the cars or the clients, you can have the tuner access way easier with audio and video and uh, real, real uh, valuable information from the vehicle. You can anticipate problems, you can, you can do so much things with all the connectivity because you really have full access to any issue, it's different than having somebody to have to hook up a laptop and connect to the internet, download the data and send over, bring back. That process itself is going to be... Right, now it's like, going to be, it's Bluetooth and it's Wi-Fi. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and... Uh, you can still plug in your USB yeah, if you want. USB, exactly. And the, the, having all this capacity will definitely allow to open the brain and think, okay, what else can I do? And that's where I think the biggest change is coming because Obviously, now a lot of people is very impressed with the performance of a T600, for example. Most of the, 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 I mean the, the 
racers that win races are using the BC and most of them too. What else do I need? Most of people, um, most of the, the tuners and the racers, they don't understand exactly how much more we allow them to advance. In, in right. And then on these units, the number of inputs, outputs, uh, the video, microphone capability, GPS. It has a massive increase because we decided to start with the top, I mean the number, the, uh, the top of the line unit. So these two connectors, A and B, are the exact same pinout of the 600. So if you have a FT600, you can replace your ECU by the 700 plug-in and run the way you were. And then later you can actually add the C and the D, which adds more uh, inputs and more outputs. So even increase the number of inputs and outputs to a massive number of, uh, I think it's 36 inputs from 20 to 36 inputs, analog inputs, and from 32 to 50 outputs. Plus we have the multimedia connector. The multimedia connector has two camera, analog cameras inputs, two microphones, two speakers. I don't even know exactly what else, what we will do with all these multimedia features, but I'm sure there will be demand for it. We also added more CAN buses. Right now, before we had two CAN buses, now we have four CAN buses, and three of them are FD, which is the high-speed CAN bus, the newer one. Very, very few ECUs actually are capable of doing that. Uh, plus, we have the GPS antenna, the dual USB. You can run an external uh, memory card, but the memory inside, for example, is a uh, this the the FT600 has 64 megabytes. This has 64 gigabytes. That's a thousand times more. Plus, it's so powerful that we even have a compression tool running to compress the files inside of the ECU. So it compresses an average of 40 times. So it's not only a thousand times more capacity, it's a 40,000 times more capacity because we compress it. It's compressed, it. yes. So that kind of stuff adds on because the capacity of the software being to be developed is... So for drag racers, for example, they could keep every data log oh, yeah. that they ever record and probably wouldn't even make a dent. Yeah, and even then, we're having the, the connectivity, it will automatically be uploaded as soon as you have connection. So it will be one thing less to worry about is, is my memory is full, is do I need to download this, that kind of stuff. Will be and cool. with the AI enabled uh, capability in the cloud, the cloud can be actually checking, oh, your yeah. oil pressure seems a little high. Yeah. Maybe you ought to check yeah. that. And uh, if you actually start going even deeper on that, you can even analyze over the time your engine with oil pressure because a very experienced engine builder like you guys, if you look at oil pressure over the time, you, you figure that that dropped six pounds of oil pressure at idle for the same engine, in, it means something. Is right, that's that's a that's a clue. Yes, <laughs> that's a you clue. Can use many other signals. There are more things that you can right. even, the, even the RPM. How the RPM is actually showing, you can analyze the RPM and understand if the engine is happy or or not. Right. So there's the data analysis will open so much reliability increase on the on the mechanical side right and it, i think as we discussed nobody really knows what the capabilities are and where this can potentially go because it's got so much hardware and, and uh, capacity and capability yeah exactly and that's exactly how we usually do is like 10 years uh, or we develop something that what is the absolute maximum stretch we can go on the hardware development. Obviously, this is a $5,000, $6,000 issue. It's not the most uh, affordable issue for every single race car, but at the same time, that's how we start developing. And then later on, obviously, you'll get entry level readers version. Yeah, well, if that monitoring, uh, both by AI or your techs, enables you to keep your engine running, oh, yeah. your $100,000 engine, oh, the yeah. four or 5,000 seems yeah. like a very good deal. And uh, I guess what we're, uh, uh, we're talking about, uh, essentially, there are two models. This is the seven inch screen. Here's the 12 inch screen. Yeah, they're absolutely the same. VCO side, they have, they both have the same connectors, same pinouts, same ECU inside. The only difference is the display. So we we did this also. There's there's some cars that this fits really well. They really yes. want a very large screen. There's enough space, but also we didn't want to limit ourselves. So we we did a version that is possible to fit in most of the cars. Still, 
it's a, still a big increase over the 600, but uh, definitely the capacity of the display allows so much, even including cameras or... or right, stuff and like of course these displays are totally customizable. Yep. Uh, yeah, so you can, you can upload a file as a background of the display, you can move your gauges, you can customize that, you can make it look like a classic or a new car. You can have a, you, you want to back up and see the camera on the AVCU, you can see, use that as a backup camera. Or, mm, there are so many things you can you can even review the data log on here, so I would see data laptops will probably not be used so often or maybe not even because you can even donate it. it. You yeah, can navigate through the issue and see the data log, or even on your phone. But particularly for the old boys like me, uh, uh, <laughs> you yeah. can, can see it a, a whole lot better yeah. than that. Yeah, exactly. And so. Uh, very happy to bring this platform uh, online uh, to bring to bring this platform to the market mm -hmm. it's been a challenge to develop usually a new platform like this takes three four years to come up to the market so much of the time we were private we were like secretly developing that and we announced mm -hmm. a couple years ago to be able now to be delivering that mm -hmm. yeah so I guess now uh, it's in the pre-order phase which runs out October 15th two weeks yeah it's about then Right, and uh, so anyway, the, uh, the, the two different units uh, are available in pre-order, uh, and they come with a, uh, a special Founders Edition. Could you touch yeah. briefly on what the... Uh, so the, the Founders Edition is, uh, it's, they are numbered, they'll be numbered, a uh, specific number. Uh, we're giving like a gift, as a, like a nice backpack, additional backpack with the product, uh, Founders Edition shirt. Uh, but that is on top of that, we're offering 50% off on the on the hub dyno. If the client wants to bring the car for the, the hub dyno, that's a, a $3,500 dyno session. You'll see a little clip uh, edited yeah. in for that. We're also offering an exclusive uh, FT700 training exclusively for who's buying the, pre the Founders Edition. Uh, all on top of that, we're offering one year of the cloud services uh, for free, additional to the product, and, this, and obviously. You were, they, though the Founders Edition will be the first ones to get, they will be the first ones to be uh, receiving the issues. And once we finish the Founders Edition and deliver them, that, that's where the product will hit the market as a normal, uh, a normal procedure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Anderson, I know you have a meeting to run to. No, thank you so much for stopping and uh, giving us the rundown on this. This is just an awesome piece of technology, and uh, I think it's going to be a big success. Look forward to seeing you at PRI. Appreciate it, man. See you okay. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Big news for Boraski customers is that we can take your old fuel tech units and trade in. Re have them refurbished and made available to new Borowski customers. But if you want a Founders Edition, you have to call now because the offer ends October 15th. Borowski Race Engines, 815-725-2727.